Now we'll see the visceral relation of the stomach. This is position of the stomach. Here, one visceralized, that is, this is position of liver. This is position of the liver. So, the stomach is anteriorly covered by liver, diaphragm, and anterior abdominal wall. Here lies anterior abdominal wall. So, from superficial to deep, anterior, anterior abdominal wall. Then, there is costal cartilage here, ribs. Then there is diaphragm, deep to diaphragm, there is liver, this is liver, so it is related with the liver, diaphragm and anterior abdominal wall. So this is anterior relation and posterior relation, posterior relations form the stomach bed. The structures are if you see here is this is position of left kidney this is left kidney here is suprarenal gland this is left suprarenal gland here is position of spleen this is spleen And here is position of pancreas. This is pancreas. Here head of pancreas. This is superior surface. This is pancreas. And here is artery. This is splenic artery. And here there is diaphragm and here is position of transverse colon this is transverse colon this is transverse colon and here is position of transverse mesocolon this is transverse mesocolon. So all these structures form the stomach bed. These structures are covered by lesser sac and then over the lesser sac there is stomach. So here is position of stomach like, like this. So this is position of the stomach. Between stomach and deeper structure, there is lesser side. Remember, lesser side and the structure forming the stomach bed are the left supranal, left kidney, splenic artery, and pancreas. Here is transverse colon, transverse mesocolon, the entry of the transverse colon, and this is uh, this is spleen. Actually, this spleen lies outside of this. This is not included in the stomach bed. So, this is all about the posterior relation. And one important thing, if you make in this diagram, here is position of transverse colon. This is position of the transverse colon. And here, this is inferior border of the Lever here is left costal margin, and this is transverse colon. A triangle is formed here. This is known as gastric triangle. This is gastric triangle. This triangle is used for feeding. 
tubal feeding, a tube is inserted here in case of obstruction of this esophagus. Esophagus atresia or in case of uh, injury, when there is obstruction, then a tube is inserted here directly into the stomach. And for this, this is used as landmark, this costal margin, this is liver, and here is transverse colon, and this triangle is gastric triangle.